Hello and welcome. Welcome to the gym. <laughs> it is almost time to get started with our 1205 class, which is low impact cardio muscle. And my name is Dina. Welcome to class today. Hey, Pramila. So great to have you as always. So today I am subbing for Casey's uh, regular Pilates class and um, it's great to be here with you. Thank you, Dave, for letting me know. Can hear me, can hear the music. Awesome. Thanks so much. Really appreciate that. Uh, so for today's class, you will need a set of light dumbbells, okay? So I'm gonna be using my three pound weights. I recommend somewhere in the two to five pound range if you're using weights. If you decide you don't wanna use weights or if you wanna put them down in the middle of the class, that is perfectly fine, okay? You can still follow along and you'll still get a good workout, all right? So um, I do encourage you to join me. This is for all levels. It's a lot of fun, and this is my feel-good class. So I am so ready for this. Um, we started to call it that because after the class, we all just got such a burst of endorphins and just feeling so good at the end and during, too. So um, I'm really excited. I look forward to this one, Low Impact Cardio Muscle. It is what it is, okay? It is what it's called, Low Impact, so there won't be any jumping. There actually won't be any squatting or lunging either today. So um, this one's for you, friends. <laughs> Hello, Kathleen. Welcome, welcome. Great to have you. No chest work. <laughs> we won't be going down to the floor either. So this is all standing. We're going to go straight through. I recommend you take breaks and um, drink water anytime you need throughout the class, okay? I'm going to go um, do this one as a barefoot workout. So your choice there. And we'll get started here. I'm gonna turn up the volume just a little bit. All right. So go ahead and stand up. Get up, get up, get up. Let's get moving. What do you say? It's great to be here with you. All right. We're gonna start to march in place. Welcome everybody. Take a big breath, inhale the arms up and exhale. Again, we have three more. Good, last two. Big breath in and exhale, one more. Okay, we're gonna open out the legs and march out wide. Great, pump the arms and pump the legs. Awesome, so we're getting the body moving here with a little bit of cardio. Okay, we're gonna tap the toe and reach overhead. Who's with me today? I know Premelis out there, I saw Kathleen. And then I saw some of you signed up in my body. So, um, Sonia, Sonita, <laughs> Malika, I saw you. And uh, I hope you're here with me. That would make me super happy. Yes, are you reaching overhead? I want you to get some length through the body here. <laughs> Beautiful. Now we're gonna reach across the chest. Same thing with the legs. Open up through the back of the shoulder. Keep it right here for me. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna plant the feet down and lunge side to side. Woo! Warming up those hips and those thighs, yes. Let's reach for opposite ankles. Reach, reach, great. Keep your chest lifted here. So we're shifting from side to side. We're extending the leg keeping the knees soft. Four, eight, eight, seven, six, and then we're gonna go into some squats. Okay, bring the chest back, down and up. Inhale and exhale, great. Whew. I'm wanting you to start breathing here. I'm wanting the heart rate to come up. I'm hoping that's what's happening for you. Eight more. Whew. Starting to feel those legs wake up. Yes, last four. Big sweeping movement with the arms. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna march it in right here. Oh, great. Okay, really pump the arms, pump the legs. Keep it here, core is tight. 
All right, beautiful. Okay, we're gonna march up for three. So it's one, two, three, and then a knee raise, and take it back, knee raise. So come to me, and then go away towards the back. Yes, we can clap. Let's start to get this party started here. One, two, three. So as we go through the workout, I'll be giving you plenty of reminders on technique, on form, on safety. Yes. Okay, that's it. How about a grapevine? Step behind, step together. Yes, and I have some nice pop music here for us today to accompany the mood of the workout, okay? Happy playlist, happy workout. Happy you, happy me. Yes, that's all there is to it, okay, friends? So I hope you're grapevining with me here. Four more, three, two. Okay, listen, we're gonna go back to squatting. Single squat to the side and then other side. Chest is lifted. Great, so really these are the only squats we're gonna be doing today. Warm up squats, okay? You don't have to even go down too low if you don't want to. Now we're gonna step back three counts. Hold, two, and then other leg. Step back for three. Hold, great job. I hope you're keeping your shoulders back, your core tight. Beautiful. Let's add one thing. We're gonna add a little twist over the front knee and then step it in. So it's step back, twist over the bent knee, step it in again. You got it. Whew. Yeah, so that twist over the bent knee. Four more, four. So we're getting a little core integration there for the warm up. Three, keep going. Last two, chest tall, chin up. Last one. Okay, come on back, toe taps to the side. Last warm up move, okay? This is where I want you to get a little bit dynamic here. We're gonna add a punch across the chest. One of my favorite ways to warm up the body. <sighs> Great job. So it's a cross punch with a toe tap. Just the toe. No need to push the heel all the way down to the floor. This is our warm up, so let's be gentle and ease into things, shall we? Woo! How about we punch straight down, down. Okay, friends, the warm up is wrapping up here. You have eight, seven, six, and then I wanna make sure we stretch out the lower back and then we can get started. March it out center. Woo! Okay, feet apart a little bit. Let's go to our lower back stretch. Come on down. From the side, it looks like this. Round and release. Round. We do this almost every day. I believe in this movement. Yes. And it feels good, too. We have three more, then we'll roll up. Three. So we're rounding the abdominals. Press the tailbone back. Roll all the way up. Big breath in. Woo. Are you warm? Are you ready? I hope so. Grab your light weight and I will get my three pound weights. That's what I'm using for today. Let's do this. Whew. Okay. Have water handy, okay? I'm gonna be taking you straight through. There isn't gonna be rest that I say stop and take rest. So you stop when you need it, okay? Whew. Let's start with a step tap. Step tap and lower. Step tap and lower. So I'm lifting the arms to shoulder level. Okay, right away, check in with your body as far as form goes. So the wrists are nice and straight. You can have a soft bend in your elbow here, as much as you need to feel good. Yes, nice relaxed grip on the weight. So in other words, the fingers don't have to squeeze too, too tight today, okay? In fact, they shouldn't. <laughs> they should be relaxed because we're gonna be holding the weight the whole time. And uh, we don't wanna tire out the hands. Needlessly, right? Needlessly. Whew. We're lifting to shoulder level here. Chest is tall. Beautiful. It's all to the beat, friends, so just follow me. I'll take you through it. Whew. Eight more right here. Eight. Yeah, so nice controlled lift. Keep your spine long for four, then a little change. Three, two, okay, keep the toes apart. We're 
We're gonna lift, lift an inch, lift an inch. Okay, so we're still lifting the arms out to the side. One inch. If we can go a little bit quicker, one inch. There we go. That works. Woo. Okay, so we shortened the range of motion here. You can bend your elbows a little bit if you need to, okay? The arms are out. We're working shoulders right away. Woo. You have eight more. Eight. Okay, try to relax the neck here. Seven. Six. Yeah. Woo, I didn't say it was going to be easy, friends. <laughs> but we're going to get through it together. Last two. Okay, watch the change. Go into some speed skaters here. So we're going to tap back. Tap back, reach across the body. Okay, let the shoulders recover right now. We're switching to cardio mode. Chest is lifted, chin is up. And we're crossing behind. Cross back. Can you work a little lower? Woo. Now, keep going. Anytime we're using weights with cardio, try to be gentle on your joints. So we, know, we don't want to lock out the elbows here. If you want to add the leap, the hop, that is always your option. Keep this going. One more round. Start to breathe. Take that oxygen in. Yes. Woo. Let's go. Six, five. Woo. Okay, hamstring curl. Up. Are you with me? Hamstring curl, and I'm doing a one arm lift. It's a single arm upright row. You know this exercise. We do it with both hands a lot of the time. This is the one where you lift your collarbone. And right now, we're doing same arm, same leg. Great. Whew. How's everybody feeling so far so good? Yes. We're going to go almost like on a roller coaster of emotions in this class. <laughs> it's cardio. It's weight. It's endurance. It's strength. It's all that good stuff. Are you bringing your heel up all the way to your glute? If you can, don't stop short there. Core is tight. You are strong. You're already strong and you're getting stronger. Eight more. Eight, seven, six. Whew. Okay. How about the hands out to the side? We'll keep them in the front. Let's keep them to the front. And take some little bicep curls here. So I didn't change the legs. <laughs> but we're doing some bicep curls in the top range here. So notice from the side, I'm coming to the middle and all the way up. Middle and up. Yes, both arms lifting together. Woo. Okay, so start to really use the oxygen. You're gonna need it. It's gonna help you. Beautiful. Woo. Eight more here. Eight, seven, six. You're doing such a good job. Okay, now arms out to the side. Let's tap the toes and we'll curl, release, curl, release. So I have my elbows up. And if it's a little bit uh, too much with the elbows high, you can keep the elbows lower and still continue to curl. Okay? Beautiful. Feeling good already. Whew. Yes. So this workout really does improve the mood. I don't know how, and I don't know the science, the science behind it totally, but it works. <laughs> There's endorphins involved. Okay. There's just something about it that keeps keeps me coming back. I hope you too. Woo. Okay. Palms face front. We're gonna pump it out. Pump it out. Okay. So what I'm doing here. I'm gonna show you closer. This is what I'm doing with the arms. Pump it out. Yeah, so the palms are facing me. Your palms are facing me. Keep going. It's a little pump, but it's intense, friends. Okay, it's not a big punch. Notice I'm really not fully extending the arm. Whew. Can you do the same thing with the palms facing up? 
If that bothers your shoulder, guess what? Go back to the palms in neutral grip, okay? That is your option, that is your choice, always. Whew. You have eight more. Eight, take, seven, almost there with this. Then we get to put the arms down for a second, okay? Four more. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna face the corner and take a little rocking horse. So it's a curl and a knee. Once you got the legs, you add the arms. Curl, knee. So the arms kind of follow the leg here. When you lift the leg back, the arms go back into a tricep kick back. And when you lift the knee up, they bicep curl. It's a beautiful thing, right? No problem. Now I am tipping forward a little bit here. Eight more, then we change sides. Seven. Really squeeze your tricep in the back. Whew. Yes. Let it feel good. Okay, friends. We're going to change sides. Get the legs first. Always take the time to um, process the changes that I make. You may need to use the first couple just to get comfortable with it. Once you got it, I want you to give me all you got. Okay, rocking horse. Woo. Who remembers the rocking horse? Yeah, it's a classic one. We do it in step. We do it in aerobics. I still do it. <laughs> Woo. I love, it's just some moves are fun, okay? It's like you feel like you're playing. Yeah, it's not working out. It's not a job. <laughs> Eight more. Eight. Some moves are just like that, right? You look forward to them. It takes you back to when we were just having fun and playing, right? <laughs> we can still do that. Okay, listen up. Sit low, sit low. We're gonna start to bring that knee that's closest to me up and down in a repeater, okay? Now, very important, the support knee is bent and you're sitting back into the support glute. Okay, notice I'm not bouncing up and down with the head a lot. I'm keeping the head level. And to do that, you have to get kind of low. Whew. Arms are like running hands. Keep the elbows bent, okay? Again, friends, cardio with weights, we have to be extra careful. Watch that you still have the elbows soft and they're not, um, throw, they're, they're not you're not throwing them out there. Yes. Whew. Who's with me? Okay, are you sitting as low as you can be? So most of the weight is in the heel of the of the support leg. Whew. One more round. Come on, drive that knee in. This is where the heart rate comes up, yeah? Four, three, two. Okay, watch the pattern. It's up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down, up. Try it. So I change the tempo here. And that, what that means is that you have to hold it up there for an extra half second, okay? Or maybe a full second. When you're doing that, think about your core. Yeah, stay real strong through the body there. I want you to feel solid as a rock. Last four. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Woo, two more. And then we switch directions, switch legs. Yeah. Okay, hold it, turn your body. Let's get ready to go to the other side. Bend into that leg, sit into the glute, and start to go. Woo, go, go, go. Nothing's stopping you, right? Woo. Yes, okay, evaluate here. Is your core as tight as it can be? Are you sitting nice and low? Could you be sitting low another half inch? Okay, so I want you to look for that. Look for that opportunity to work a little bit deeper into your front glute, into your aerobic system. Water when you need it, keep going. Woo. 
Yes. How you doing? Are we feeling good? Dave, you just posted something really long. Oh my God, Monica, are you here live? I could not be happier about that. Yes, you are here live. Okay, I remember you told me something. I'm so glad you're here. Keep your chest lifted. Oh my gosh, I just got so excited when I saw that. Whew. I know some of you usually do the replay and uh, keep going. When you're here live, it's like an extra treat. Oh, she's doing this later. Okay, I can't read from that far. <laughs> I just saw Monica and I got excited. <laughs> I'm excited because you're here. Okay, here's the tempo chain. It's up, down, up, down, up, down. Yes. Are you really pushing here? Hold. Hold. Give me that hold. Hold. The arms stay close to your center. Yes. Woo. Down, up. Now really take out any bouncing out of the equation right now. Okay. Ground yourself in towards the floor. Woo. Up, down, up, down, up, down. You're doing it. Woo. I told you we have good tunes here. Come on. Can you give me four more? Woo, hang in there. Hang on. Hang on. Woo. And march it out. March it out. Woo. How'd you do? Okay, we're going into something a little new here. So we're gonna take a step forward and then other leg. As you present, present like you're serving a platter. Okay, now if you want to add a little triplet in between to change legs, that's always there for you. Okay, so you present. If the triplet throws you off, just step it in one leg at a time like that. Okay? I love the triplet. Woo! But you know what? It's about what you love. It's not about what I show. It's not about what I recommend. You pick what works best for you. Woo! Are you presenting with your palms to the sky? Yes! Okay, we're gonna do a little mambo. Other side. So it's a mambo, cha-cha-cha. I'm reaching one arm across, one arm up. Woo! Okay, let's feel good. Ow! Put a little pep in your step. You can still do the triplet in the middle here. And the arms fully extend, friends. The arms fully extend without locking. Okay, that's your caveat, without locking out. Yeah, full extension up, full extension out to the front. Keep breathing. Let's keep this going. Woo. So weightlifting doesn't have to be um, so regimented all the time. We're strengthening right now, but we're also having fun. We're adding a little bit of dance flair into it. It's low impact. We're here together. I mean, really, what more could you want? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna change the arms slightly. Same leg, bent arm, shoulder raise. Bent arm, shoulder raise. Whew. So I have my elbows bent to 90 degrees. I'm still going with that little mambo cha-cha. Mambo cha-cha-cha. Oh! Yes. Who likes this song in the gym? I think AJ used to like this song, and I think about him every time I hear it. <laughs> Keep your wrists nice and strong. Eight more, please. Eight. Okay, we have this, right? Shoulder level with the elbows. Beautiful. Feeling good. Okay, get ready. We're gonna take four steps to the side. Four, three, then other side. So this is our little merengue walk. Four steps, four, three, and other side. Yeah, we're working a little dance into this segment. Four steps to the side, and feel free to add the hips. If the hips aren't your 
nothing than just march. But don't forget the shoulder raise. Whew. Keep going. Merengue march, yeah? Squeeze your core there. Merengue is good for working the abdominal muscles, friends. Ah, did you know that? It's a secret. So it's salsa. <laughs> Woo, again. So it's four lifts. We don't fully extend the arm. Just like I said, watch that your fingers aren't gripping too tight. Yeah. Do we have this? Okay, we're going to keep going with the leg, but make it four bicep curls. Woo. Out to the side and change. So it's four steps, four curls. Yes. You add your own little flavor to it, okay? I'm doing a little, kind of a little uh, hip walk here. And uh, my body likes it, okay? I'm feeling good. I hope you're feeling. How are you feeling? Woo. Give me a few more. So it's four, three, two, yes. Chest is tall. I hope you're feeling great. I'm wanting you to breathe and have fun right now. Okay, hold a march in the center. Watch my arms. March and pump the arms up. Okay, notice I'm not fully extended the arms. Okay, I'm gonna give you an option. Take it around in a circle for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and then take it back around the other way. Are you still going with the arms? Beautiful. Keep marching. Woo. Yes. Okay. Arms are pumping. Feet are moving. For eight, seven, six. Woo. Okay, toes apart, toes apart. Bring the arms and just leave them out at the side here. We're gonna take them in and out. Yes. Okay, I think Cheryl's here. Hi, Cheryl, if you're out there. Yeah, I, like, I want, I feel like we're at the gym at this hour. That's, that's the best part of it. We're here together working out. We're not in the same room, but we are connected. Yes. Thank you for continuing to show up and work hard every day. Woo! How are your shoulders doing? <laughs> they should be starting to sing or cry. <laughs> Keep going. So the elbows are up at shoulder level. Relax your fingers, okay? Don't squeeze the weight. Let your shoulders do the work here. Woo. Beautiful. Okay, plant the feet down, lunge side to side, arms at 90 degrees. Hold them there, hold them there. Yes, you can. For eight, eight, seven. You're shifting side to side. The knee is not extending past the foot line. Okay, arms up. We're gonna take the elbows in close to the head here and bend and extend, tricep work. Bend, extend, elbows in, chest, is lifted, chin is up. Okay, so what I see sometimes in the gym <laughs> is that the tendency is to start to drop the chin when we do these. If that's happening to you, maybe put one weight down. Okay, because I want you to see if you can keep your alignment. All right, we don't want to look down. We want to look up, nice and proud, nice and strong, because you are all those things. You're strong. Woo. How's this going? Is your core pulled in tight? Full extension on the tricep press. Full extension all the way up. Stay with me. Yes. Okay, we have eight more. You can do this. Eight. Elbows are in super close to your ears now, okay? Yeah. Four more. Keep that chin up. Yeah. You got it. Okay, beautiful. Go ahead and take it down a little bit. All right, so we're gonna bend the knees, come down to a hip hinge position, and start to extend the elbows, the arms back, okay, and a tricep kick back, both arms. I'll show you from the side. So bring the weights to your hips here, okay? Weights to the hips, not 
beyond. Because we don't want to rest the triceps at the bottom. Adding legs, alternating tap back. Woo, singles. Yes, alternating tap back. So now we're really into strength here. You might still feel a little out of breath. That's the whole point, friends. Woo. Okay, so the elbows stay in place. Keep pressing your shoulders down away from your ears so that tension isn't accumulating in your upper back and neck, okay? So you have to make a conscious effort to press your shoulders down to lengthen the neck. Eight more. Eight. Woo. Yeah, this workout will do wonders for your muscle endurance, muscle tone, even cardio. Yes, you know it. Okay, same legs, but this time lift the, lift the arm straight back. No bend in the elbow this time. Now, see how I am leaning forward slightly with a tall spine. Beautiful. Whew. Now, if the legs bother you or are too much of a distraction, you don't have to do them. Okay, they are there. there. Take it or leave it, friends. But your core is pulled in tight. Oh, everybody, yeah, that's a non-negotiable. You have eight more. Eight. Yes. Seven. Six. Nice and strong. Arms are six straight here, and they're lowering to your hips. Chest is tall. Whew. Okay, hold it up there. Hold it up there. We're going to take very small pulses. Very small pulse. Reach back through your knuckles. Really straighten your arm. Keep pressing the shoulders back. Away from your ears. Four. Three. Okay, stand up tall. Come to fast feet here with me. Keep the weights close to your chest. Fast feet. Okay, fast feet with the feet together. Fast feet with the feet apart, but drop your hips a little bit. Fast feet, feet together. Let's get the heart rate up a little bit here. And fast feet apart. Okay, hold it here. Drop your hips a little bit. Can you move your feet any faster? You have eight, seven, six, five. Get ready. We're gonna shuffle three, shuffle three and knee, shuffle three and knee. Did you catch that? Three shuffles and a knee twist. So we're back to cardio. Keep the weight close to your chest. Whew. That knee twist. That's a little oblique crunch, a little side crunch. Yeah. Hey, the knees are bent on the shuffle. Keep this going. It's shuffle, 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 twist. Whew, it is a party, friends. I am officially sweating. I hope you are too. Okay, great find three knees. Three knees. Whew, great find three knees. Did you catch the change? Great find and then a repeater. Three, two, one. Whew. Keep going. Yes. So this is the time to have a little fun with the movement. So we're still working, right? Woo. Yeah. Nice and strong on that twist. Four more. Who is doing it? Are you having fun at home? I hope so. Last couple here. Woo. Okay. Okay, we're gonna take a V-step with the legs. Out, out, in, in. Okay, so we started with this leg. Just follow me. I'm gonna add the arms. Arms follow the legs. So it's up, up, down, down. Whew. Okay, how we doing? So do a little check for your hands. Sometimes we forget we're working hard and we start to squeeze the weights with our fingers. Loosen them up here. We haven't changed legs to the other leg yet. We're opening and closing. You can take a full extension with the arm without locking out the elbow. Are you ready? We're gonna start with the other leg. Other leg, other arm. Did you catch it? If you didn't, it's okay, really. <laughs> Don't stress out about it. When you get a chance, see if you can switch legs so that we have a nice balance through the body. Whew. It's never about being perfect, friends. It really isn't, okay? It's about moving. It's about our community. 
and getting together and feeling that connection, like I said earlier. Keep this going. Woo. Who's feeling good? Yeah, can you take on the world now? Is this your me time, okay? I, I wonder that sometimes. Maybe this is some time that you get to yourself. Eight more, or your family knows. Uh, we gotta leave them alone for this hour or 45 minutes. Yeah, it's important to have that me time every day. Woo. Okay, both arms up. We're gonna march back and then knee. March back and knee. Back, two, three, knee. March, two, three, knee. Whew. So I'm gonna show you from the side. March, two, three, knee. We march back and then twist. Did you get it? Oh my gosh, how are your shoulders doing? Mine are really like feeling it right now. Are you still going? You can put, take a break for your shoulders if you need. But start again. Woo. Okay. This is what I'm talking about, friends. Muscular endurance. This is what it's all about right now. Woo. Keep your chest lifted. Notice I'm not dropping my chest to bring the elbow to the knee. Okay, we don't make those kind of sacrifices to our form. Yeah. You go as far as you can while standing tall, standing proud. Woo! Four more. You can do it. Back, two, three. Yeah, you can fully extend your arms up if you like with that. Beautiful. Okay, march it out. Woo! March it out. Okay, reset. We're gonna take some heel digs to the front now. So tap the heel, tap the heel to the front. We're gonna add a little front raise with that. So I'll show you from the side, heel tap. Yes, now I know it's a little tempting to wanna swing the weights up to shoulder level now. I felt that too. See if you can make the muscle do all the hustle, okay? So use the front muscles of the shoulders here to do the work, okay? That's what's lifting your arms. It has nothing to do with swinging or momentum. Woo! Shoulder level, arms are straight without locking. Yes, feeling so good. I hope you are too. Remember, you stop for water when you need it. You have eight more here. Eight, yes, seven. So take that little heel tap to the front with me. You can cross your body with it. Yeah, every different movement we do makes a difference. Okay, we're gonna march, palms to the back. We're gonna lift, bend, press, extend. Lift, press back, press out, extend. So it's shoulders, back, chest, and then shoulders again. Back, chest, keep going. Whew. Come on. Yes. I know, we don't jump in this class, but we do hustle and we do work hard. Yeah. Keep those shoulders from dropping down away from the ears. I know they're getting a little fatigued, probably, by this point, okay? Keep relaxing them down. You can still work them without crunching them up like that, yeah? Keep going with this combo. So it's shoulder level, squeeze the back, squeeze the chest, and down. Shoulder level, squeeze the back, squeeze the chest, and down. Woo. Oh my gosh, we have been going non-stop, friends. Okay, last four. Come on, I want you to really squeeze your back when you bring your elbows towards the back of the room. Last two, you can do it. Last one. Okay, watch this, L raise, L raise. And what is that? One goes out to the side, one goes out to the front, like the, the letter L. Yes, you have done so many different movement patterns today. I'm proud of you. Woo. I know, I didn't pick on your shoulders very much, at least with this movement this week. <laughs> so, I don't feel too bad about it. <laughs> If you follow my classes, I try not to repeat throughout the week, okay? So that we don't get injured, so that we have good balance through the body. 
<sighs> yes. Give me eight more. Now, check the fingers. Check the wrists. Wrists are strong. No bend in the wrists. And the fingers are not gripping too tight. Yes. Woo. Good job, good job. Okay, step touch like we did in the beginning. Come back to this, come back to this. Beautiful. We're here just for a few. Gather yourself, okay? <laughs> march it out, march it out center. All right, we're gonna move into a little bit of core work here. So, this is what it looks like. It's two knees and then four twists. Two knees, four twists. Try it with me. It's knee, knee, rotation. Knee, knee, rotation. Keeping the weight close to your body. They're just an extension of your own body weight. Whew. And the knees and the toes track in the same direction there, in case you're wondering about that. Try to sit low on the twist. Knee, knee. You have eight more, come on. Oh, my crew has been hanging in there with me today. Yeah, your friends are still here in the room, in case you're wondering. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, can we try the other leg? Knee, knee, four twists. Woo. Two knees, and then four little ab twists. I like this. Woo. It's knee, knee, really squeeze your core there. Yes, that's an opportunity, friends. Woo. As you're twisting, don't let the knees move. Nothing below the belt is moving. Yeah, it's all torso up. Keep going. Knee, knee, get low on those twists. Knee, knee, get low. Yes. Woo. Breathe. Four more. You got this. Woo. Come on, tighter. Core work. Yeah, there's no abs class today, so make this count. <laughs> Woo. Knee, knee. Okay, double tap and double tap. Last thing, friends. Last thing here, the combination of cardio and strength. We're gonna add arms. So it's a tricep extension, double and double. Make sure that your palm is facing the back wall on these. Yes, you are so close. And I want you to flex your tricep there. Flex the back of the arm as you extend. Come on, give me good work until the end. We are still in the workout right now, but we're almost there. Eight more, then we have a big finish. Seven, come on, chest is tall. Woo. Feeling so good. Yes. Last two. Okay, get ready to keep the weights close to you. Watch, we're gonna get low, low. Little frogger here. How low can you stay? You don't have to jump. You can just transfer from side to side. Can you stay a little lower? You have eight more. It's eight. Woo. Seven. Yeah, stay as low as you can. This is our big finale. Four more. Three. Two. Hold. And come up. Woo. You did it. We did it. You can put these down. Grab a sip of water. That was awesome. All right. I hope that you did a great job with that at home. I'm gonna slow us down a little bit here. Take a little march in place and I will meet you right back there. Woo. Hey, we made it. Big breath in and exhale out. Okay, feet apart, arm across the chest. Shoulder stretch, yes. I'm moving the hips a little bit side to side, whatever works for you here. 
stretch out your shoulders though because we did work them. Other side, other arm. Whew. So you're hugging your arm in towards your body here. Try to keep your shoulder pressed down away from your ear. Beautiful. Okay, and one arm up, bend the elbow, take a hold of the elbow and give it a gentle pull. Palm of your hand between your shoulder blades, tricep stretch, hold. Whew. Yeah, it felt so good to sweat and to work out with you. So the regular class at this time is Pilates, but I'm subbing for Casey today. And I'm glad that we had this time together. And release, okay. Hands on the thighs. We're gonna roll the chest down, roll it down and then roll it up. One more time, roll it down and roll it up. Whew. Okay, let's take a hip hinge. So we're gonna take a little forward fold towards the front, reach the fingertips to the back wall. Try to create some space between your shoulders and your ears. Lengthening out through the hamstrings here. And then relax over towards the floor. You can bend your knees a little or a lot here. Walk it over to one ankle. And then walk it over to the other ankle. Take a little back stretch, a little leg stretch here. Walk it back to the center. Bend your knees. Hands on the thighs, roll it up all the way. Ooh. Okay, little hip tap, little hip tap, yes. So I'm just kind of tapping out to the side a little bit. Please join me for this, okay? What we're doing right now is we're bringing the heart rate back to baseline a little bit, okay? And we don't wanna just stop abruptly. So it's good to kind of ease into it and then ease out of it again. Ooh, and you can groove a little here if you want. Okay, and hold. Now, from here, we're gonna take one foot, cross it over the other, and then same arm as the back leg goes up, lean over to the side. Stretch your side, stretch your hip. Take a breath here. And just know that you really did something amazing for your body, for your system today. Cardiovascular endurance, strength. Okay, other um, arm. Let's see, same arm as the back leg. I had to check on myself to make sure I was going the right way. Lean over to the side. Good job. I will be here tomorrow for Zumba. And uncross the legs. Let's finish with two big breaths. Also, I just want to mention, next week and the week after we're going to be offering classes okay so even though the fund may be closed we are here for you okay so that we can keep it moving here during the holidays hey guys thanks for coming really appreciate it i will see you tomorrow and i look forward to it bye guys